Hi everyone, how's life? And welcome to another one of my videos. Today I am at the Magic Circus Hotel, which is one of the partner hotels with Disneyland Paris. And I thought I'd show you around the room that I've been staying at and also the breakfast at the hotel. So come along on the journey. Before we even go into the room, I wanted to show you the carpets here because I absolutely love them. So you can see there's so many stars. Obviously this isn't a Disney hotel, it's only a partner hotel with Disneyland Paris, so a Disney partner hotel. So there's no Disney stuff here, no hidden Mickeys unfortunately, but instead we get loads of incredibly cute stars. And you know, I love stars, they're my favorite shapes. Particularly blue stars, because blue is my favorite color and I love it. Um, also, like as you can see, the doors all have stars on them. This is on the third level and I have noticed not every single level is like this. So the level below me, the second floor, doesn't have stars on the carpet. Their carpet is completely different. Now, this hotel is actually currently under Renovation, so I'm not sure if they're going to change anything in regards to carpets, but I don't think they are. I think the rooms are going to be staying the same. I think they're just making some renovations in the lobby area and the reception. But I just wanted to let you know that not every single level is the exact same theming from what I've gathered so far. Um, but yeah, this is my room, room number 3319. I also love all these little decorations, silhouettes of circus performers everywhere, as you can see. There are so many different ones as you walk through the corridors. It's, um, it's a lot of fun actually, coming in and having a look at them. But anyway, yeah, this is the room, 3319. And I've, I've been here for the past, about a week, I wanna say, five, six nights. And I have genuinely really enjoyed my stay. So let's get my key out. Mm, this is the key. I don't know why I did that sound effect. And yeah, go inside the room and have a look. Okay, oh, I hope it doesn't make a big loud noise. Gentle. Okay, we are in this room now. Now, because it's only been me on this trip, this is a room with only one double bed. When I first checked in, they did actually ask me if it's gonna be only me, if I wanted one bed or two beds or how many beds. And I was like, I would just like one big bed, please, because it is just me and, and I like, you know, having a big double bed because I don't have one at home, sad times. But they definitely do have a lot of variety of different rooms here for different sizes of families. They have family rooms with bunk beds and everything. I've seen photos of them, they all look really cool um, this is the first thing you see on your left by the way that's the door over there some information about the hotel evacuation plan etc and then thankfully you do have a full-length mirror which is blue as well on your left yeah as soon as you enter I also like the carpet in the room which we're gonna have a look at in a bit as well the proper room but yeah thought I'd just say um hi very briefly before we now pan into whoop, the actual room which is really really cute so i'm trying to decide if i want to show you this room in detail first you can kind of see it already i mean incredible right i just i love the colors of the wall like so nice but i think since we've got the bathroom first we might as well take a look at that one first so let's turn it on the bathroom's not too special to be fair it's just a bathroom but you know some people you know are interested to find out there's a little toilet here we've got a sink here um another mirror <laughs> I feel like this is just an excuse to show myself to you in the mirror constantly. Lord have mercy. I promise you it's not. There just happen to be loads of mirrors in this room. Well, not really. Three. This big one. This one here. <laughs> I um, I never really use these. I don't know if you do. Let me know in the comments if you do. It's good for makeup, I guess. Or if you want to pluck your eyebrows or something like that. But I just find them a bit scary. Just I don't, I don't want to see my face that big. And yeah, obviously we've got the other mirror that we saw earlier. Um, yeah, in terms of like facilities and stuff in the bathroom, you've got... Um, some uh, pan wash, what's it called, soap, L'Occitane as well, which is a very, very good brand. I've enjoyed washing my hands with it every single night and morning and whenever I needed to. Um, you have um, a hair dryer, which I've used a couple of times as well. It's a good dryer. I know, I can't complain. It's pretty good for what it is. I don't know what it's, what it's doing there. Let me put it back where it belongs. Oh, there you go. That's it. Fantastic. Then you get these little cups. That day, um, I haven't used either of them actually, but it's uh, because of COVID times, they do put them in plastic just to make sure they're all safe. So let's just put them back there. Over here, we've got this random photo. I think it's, a, it's an old photo. Um, I'm guessing in the theme of circus vibes. That's cool. This is actually the first time I've properly paid attention to it, I'm not gonna lie. I guess because the toilet's here, I don't normally come here and look at what's behind the toilet, if that makes sense. I don't know. Right, we come here now, and then we have a bath, which is lovely. Um, yeah, again, some more Occitan products here. 
which have both been fantastic. I just love it. Really good products. The shower is also phenomenal. That over there is, is not from the hotel. I brought this with me from London. So just, just so you know, I thought I'd let you know you don't get that with the hotel. In case you're wondering why I bought that with me, by the way, is because I got a new tattoo, I wanna say about two weeks ago, 10 days ago. And that soap is the best soap for the tattoos I get. I've used it before, so I know it works. So I like washing that particular part of my body that has the new tattoo with that soap, just to be safe. So that's why I've bought it with me from London. Anyway, here's some towels that you get. Very standard stuff, you know, nothing exciting. Quite a basic bathroom to be fair, but I do like the little blue tiles, the details with the blue tiles, because, you know, I like blue. And there you go, that is pretty much the bathroom. Oh yeah, you get some hooks as well there. But you don't get bathrobes, so I don't really know why you have them. Right, <laughs> let's uh, exit the bathroom and turn it off. Cool. Um, right, so the room, you've already kind of seen it. You've had a first glance. It's not a very big room, but like I said, it has just been me, so I haven't needed anything bigger, and it's been more than perfect for me. Like, I've genuinely enjoyed my stay a lot in this room, despite all the renovations going on in the hotel, which I'll talk about later. So firstly, I guess we're gonna have to start with the bed, no? The bed is awesome. It's a huge bed, like, more than double, I would say. This is a king-size bed. It's massive. It's been amazing. I've honestly not needed both sides, like as you probably can tell by this part being a little bit creased. I've only really been <laughs> using this side of it just because I generally tend to prefer sides of the bed that are, you know, furthest apart from the window. I don't know why. Even if I come on my own, I tend to sleep closest to whatever is not the window, so the wall in this case. The bed is also incredibly comfortable. Um, one thing that is really interesting, and this is the same with uh, the Vienna Dreamcastle Hotel, which is a partner hotel with this one, as in like a sister hotel, they're both sister hotels, is that the pillows are square. So that's just unique, you know. I feel like generally speaking, in life, at least, you know, where I'm from, um, pillows tend to be uh, rectangular, not square. But they are, the pillows that they have here are all square. And also, it's worth noting that you actually get um, only two pillows. So when I first arrived, I had one pillow on each side. Um, and yeah, I ended up asking for a third pillow. I don't even know why I did that. I think because I dropped one of the pillows one night on the floor and I didn't want to use that pillow because I thought it might be dirty because, you know, I, I walk around with my shoes on. And so I asked for an extra pillow because I quite like having two pillows. And then they were like, oh, would you like two? They just brought me two. So now I've got four and it's been excellent, although I've only really been using the two that are clean over here. I think that one of the other ones was the one that fell. Anyway, I'm talking a lot, aren't I? Right, so what else is there to show you? Oh, okay, I should probably show you down there as well. So yeah, you do get um, some USB, well, oh, two USB adapters, so USB plugs, which I'm, I'm charging my phone at the moment, which is great. You get one over here and one exactly on the opposite side. Um, you also get some normal plugs, which obviously I've got an adapter that I've plugged in. Um, and then you've got a phone where you can ring reception or whatever that you need to do. This is just random stuff that I've brought. I do tend to bring a thermometer with me these days whenever I travel, just because I like to make sure that I'm okay, even though I'm fully vaccinated and I, you know, look after myself as much as I can. I just, I don't know, maybe it's just me being obsessive. It's just something I've, you know, become used to bringing with me. Um, yeah, down there, there's not a lot going on. I've only just noticed this little <laughs> orange bit. Wow, I'm definitely not very observant, am I? Anyway, let's continue. Those headboards are quite nice as well with the blue, the kind of dark blue. I'm gonna to touch them very quickly. I have touched them before. Yeah, they're nice and soft, which is lovely. Over here, as you can see, there's another USB area here. Um, also, these are lamps that you can like kind of turn around and then they turn on and off. Again, I have to be honest, I haven't really used these a lot. Definitely not this one. The one on my side, I think I used a couple of times on my first few nights, but I don't really use them a lot. Then you get this little, chair i suppose again as you can see has not been used whatsoever but um yeah it's there if anybody wants to use it over here we've got this really awesome looking lamp which um yeah i think it's nice <laughs> it, it makes the room um light i don't know what am i talking about wow okay you get a little chair as well which clearly i've now covered with my mess that's just my backpack that i take to the parks what i was wearing earlier and i'm going to be wearing again tonight when i go back out and then my laptop case so that's that and a little table as well okay i think that's basically it here's another view 
of um, the bed from this angle. My favourite thing though, which you probably have seen before earlier in the video, is this, right? This is the moon. Who would have thought that I'd have a, a moon, or the moon, <laughs> in fact, in my room? Like, I did not expect this. When I booked this hotel room, I thought I was going to get a room with, like, magic circus, like, circus themes. Um, and I don't really think this is a circusy room at all. Apologies if you just heard a little noise in the background. Um, I got a, a phone call, which is something I don't get a lot. And, yeah, whilst my texts are on silent, uh, my phone calls aren't. It wasn't even an important phone call. It's fine. Life goes on. <laughs> Let's continue with the tour. So, yes, the moon. Back to the lovely moon. I love all the details on it. I think it's very, very cool. Yeah, I don't think this room is very circusy. It's more, like, spacey. And, like, this little ladder that goes to the moon is very cool. And then all those little, like, stars, I guess. And I, I don't even know. Like, space things. Oh, I don't really know what you would call these things. Um, yeah, I, there is definitely a word for it. I have just forgotten it. English is not my first language. I do apologise. Feel free to let me know in the comments. It's cool though, right? I think this is cool. Like, I've enjoyed sleeping here every night and looking at this. Um, yeah. And then you've got more of that as well over here. I know the word in uh, Persian, which is my uh, mother tongue. Like, I could tell it to you in Persian. Kakishan is the word in Persian uh, of these things, but I genuinely do not know. Orbit, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. Right, I, I think I, th I think that's it. I think that's all you want to see in terms of the walls. I mean, they're pretty, but... Oh, also, can you see those little details on the walls from the light? You can kind of see them on the ceiling as well. Can you see them over there? Um, I really enjoy these, but I'm not quite sure where they come from. So my um, assumption is maybe from that light, or maybe it's something to do with the moon. I don't know. All I know is that I quite like the reflection of the light. Um, on the ceiling and that wall over there. Okay, we're done with walls now. You've already seen the carpet, beautiful carpet. Um, here is the curtain, also quite a nice shade, you know, goes well with everything. Um, you probably won't be able to see the view or anything right now because it is quite dark. We're in winter time, like, you know, it gets dark quite early <laughs> here in France and everywhere in Europe, more or less. But it's a decent view. I mean, yeah, you definitely can't see anything. You can maybe kind of see some of the other rooms and stuff of the hotel. It's a pretty good view, actually. It's a nice, relaxing view. But we can't do anything about the fact that it's dark now. Unfortunately, this light cannot help that, so we will carry on. Um, you do get some little hangers to, you know, hang your coats or whatever. That's my coat over there. But you don't get like a full-on wardrobe, so it's just hangers rather than a wardrobe or like a closet if you're American. Um, these two things, uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm giving both of them away, so just, um, yeah, that's why they're here. I bought them on this trip to give away to one of you guys. And then you also get some, like, teas and cups and coffee making machines and things like that. Is that that's not a coffee making machine, sorry. Just a little, um, kettle is the word. I don't drink tea, so I, I never use this at all, really. But this is cool. That's quite cool as well. Quite uh, funky, different, unique, blue, who cares. Um, here... <laughs> We've got a safe, which clearly I have not used, but it's good to know that it is there. It looks to be quite a big safe as well. Um, and then, down here, we have got a fridge, which, wow, okay. It's empty, you don't have anything in it. But um, yeah, I know a lot of people, you know, like having fridges in their rooms, and there is definitely fridges in the rooms here at the Magic Circus. I actually put my water bottle there uh, on my first night just because I was very warm when I travelled here. So there you go, maybe I need fridges in my rooms as well, who knows. I'm pretty sure the last bit that I want to show you or need to show you, the last bit that you haven't seen yet, is the desk here. But I'm quite hesitant to show it to you because it is a bit of a mess, so <laughs> just, you know, just so you're aware. Um, it's quite messy, but I have been here for the past week, so I've just put a lot of my stuff here. I do apologise. Please don't judge me. Okay, you're probably all judging me very hard right now, but I mean, what can I do? <laughs> so this is a little desk that you get. I filled it up with my stuff. <laughs> These mayos were given to me by um, one of the bar staff on, like, my second night here because I went down to get some food, and I said, can I have some mayo? And he gave me so many. Like, these are the leftovers. I think he gave me, like, maybe, like, twice as many as you can see here. Obviously, I couldn't finish them all, so I just kept them, but he was an amazing, amazing staff member. Here's some of my hats there. You do get some... Um, there's Nan Paris information as well because this is a partner hotel, so that's cool. That's the remote for the TV, which I have not used even once, but you do have a TV here, as you can see. 
and then these are just some of my stuff um oh yeah this is some information actually about the hotel they gave this to me on the first day kind of just uh, information about how uh what time breakfast is which is from 7 to 10.30 during the week on weekdays and then weekend until 11. And then also, because um, you're under renovation right now, um, I think they gave us, well, they basically here, they said, welcome offer. You can get like a, a drink, a cocktail, which I didn't I didn't get. Um, I didn't really fancy it at the time, but it's good. I think I can still use it if I want to. They actually also are offering every guest, I think about 20% off, 15 or 20% off at the restaurant um, downstairs because of the fact that uh, the hotel is currently under renovation. But yeah, I don't know when the renovations end or anything. I just thought I'd let you know. But yeah, that's basically it. This is just a little place to put <laughs> your suitcases, which as you can see, mine is still a mess. That's another suitcase that I have here, just a tiny one that is basically empty. But, um, oh Lord have mercy, I forgot to show you this. this this is another light that is, I think, incredibly cool. And I only noticed what it is on the second day, but it's a balloon. It's literally a balloon. I mean, not literally, but you know what I mean, like, this is cool. So I, I think this kind of does give it a bit of a circus feel, I guess, circus element. Oh my God, look how cool the reflection of the moon is um on the tv that's amazing but yeah i think that's it in terms of the room tour i mean i don't know if there's anything else i can show you oh there's one more thing actually that i am um, i just want to show you because i want to see if you can help me i mean who knows basically this thing is uh, in my room and i wonder if this is to, to do with the moon and like the lighting effects or anything i have tried to use it like i've tried to oh, there you go i'm trying to turn it on right now but nothing really nothing really happens um but then again i'm not very good with these things like really extreme technology not extreme just things like that i, I don't really understand them but i just thought i'd show you that there is this really cool thing where apparently you can do stuff with it maybe control the lighting because that's the that's for the temperature and then this that's how i found it on my first night I was quite warm when I first got home and then I felt quite cold so I wanted to put the heater up and then I was like what's this and yeah not much has changed look still basically the same room so yeah I played around with it a bit and didn't really know what to do and nothing really changed I mean the lighting sometimes does change just of its own and I'm, I'm okay with it you know just the moon stuff every now and again but yeah, I don't really know how to work that out. But I thought I'd show it to you because it can be something fun, especially if you've got kids. I'm sure if I really, really wanted to figure it out, I could have just like, I still could ask reception, but I, I know, like there's no, there's no point. <laughs> I'm not that in need of finding out what it is. I think I will just leave it to you to figure it out. But that is it. Here's one last look at the room, this beautiful room that has been my little home. <laughs> away from home for the past uh, five nights or so and as i said earlier i am gonna speak to you again tomorrow morning when i go down to breakfast because even though i've been here for the past five nights i haven't actually tried the breakfast yet and the breakfast comes free normally with any booking that you do here at the magic circus so i'm looking forward to trying it tomorrow and obviously i'll take you along the journey as well so you can see it because there's not a lot more that i can show you at the moment at the magic circus because the hotel is under renovation and tomorrow when we go down to breakfast i will just very briefly show you what is what there is and the reception like what is left of it for now because a lot of the places are blocked off i'm pretty sure they've even changed where the reception is for the time being like so many things are closed it doesn't affect me at all i'm actually very happy because it meant that i got this hotel for a cheaper price than it would normally be and obviously i've been given little discounts and stuff as well at the restaurant so i'm okay with it but um yeah the breakfast should be the same whenever you come like it's not a different breakfast just because they're under renovation the restaurant is actually still there the restaurant and the buffet for the breakfast have not changed they're not going under renovation neither are the rooms as far as I'm aware I think they're just making major renovations in the actual main reception area of the hotel but I'm, I could be wrong I don't know and the swimming pool as well for sure I know that the swimming pool at the moment here is closed because when I first got here they told me oh if you want to use a swimming pool you can go to our sister hotel Vienna Dream Castle which is around the corner which I've also stayed at before and I also have videos about as well it's one of my favorite partner hotels and yeah they said well, I could use that one if I wanted to now I don't need a swimming pool right now so it's fine for me but it's nice that they do offer that um and the staff members have been really good right i am going to stop talking i feel like this video is already very long and we haven't even got to the breakfast yet so i'll see you tomorrow it's the next morning and i am off down to get breakfast it's currently about oh has it just arrived 
9.50 a.m. and they have breakfast until 10 a.m. 10.30, 10.30, Lord have mercy. So yes, breakfast is served until 10.30 a.m. every day during the week and until 11 a.m. on the weekends. Today is a Thursday, so they should be serving you until 10.30 a.m. This is the breakfast area here, I'm going to show it to you now. So yeah, I just got out of that lift over there and as you can see, they are doing loads of renovations here, like these areas are completely closed, there's walls over here. Even on my level, there's like loads of people working every day. Um, yeah, this is the bar. This is where I've had uh, food from a couple of times, because you can take food upstairs to the room with you. And I like doing that. And then that's the restaurant over here where they serve for breakfast. I'm just gonna have to give them my room number and go in. So I've just been assigned this, hello, bonjour, this uh, lovely table here by this car situation. Also, one thing I have to stress about the, this hotel is that the staff members have been really, really good. At least the ones that I've interacted with, really good interactions, very friendly. Like even just a staff member right now who kind of um, asked for my room number and everything, he was so, so lovely and friendly. And also there's, there's been a staff member at the bar um, that I kind of interacted with a few days ago when I would get my food and stuff. And he, I think I mentioned it in, earlier in the vlog, but he would give me so many mayonnaises. And he saw me today <laughs> as the other staff member was talking to me and he was laughing and the other guy was like do you know her and he was like and I was like yeah I'm the mayo girl it's just funny this is the outside terrace area by the way and actually this is kind of what the food will be like as well from uh, the rooms here it's a nice area it's quite peaceful the actual breakfast situation right now doesn't look too busy either maybe it's the time that I've come maybe if I'd come a bit earlier or a bit later I don't know it would have been busier but right now it looks uh, okay still quite noisy just because it's a buffet but not too bad. Okay, let's go have a quick look at what they have available. There's some croissants, some more croissants. The good thing is people wear masks when they pick up stuff, so that makes it feel better. Loads of croissants here, actually. I feel like this is the croissant section. Uh, it does actually say here to wear your mask, especially during the buffet, so that's good. Obviously, not everyone is listening, but most people are. They've got some toast here. Some just arrived. Some sausages. This is really lovely. They have hot food as well. What's in there? I want to say bacon, yeah. There's some bacon here. They also have some potatoes, some ketchup, I want to say, some uh, scrambled eggs. This looks lovely. You can get some healthier stuff if you wish to, like some yogurt and some fruits over there as well. Or you can go for something very, very unhealthy, like this giant jar of that just comes to tell it out into these little things. I think I might go for that. And then as we carry on, I think this last bit is just like a little drink section and also some more, a couple more healthy options like tomatoes and, and cucumbers and some eggs as well. These actually are very nice options as well. I would have these uh, as my breakfast, but the thing is when you see that, that's what you want, at least for your holiday anyway. Also, that photo of the lion is quite cute. And I don't know why I said the lion. It's not the lion, it's a lion, but you know I like lions because I'm a Leo. Let me know in the comments down below what your star sign is because I'm a Leo and I would love to know if any of you are Leos as well. So this is my plate of breakfast, quite a lot of food. I apologize if it was really noisy earlier, by the way, it's because of the music and obviously everyone was surrounding the food, so loads of uh, background noise, but I've got three croissants. The croissants are very nice and warm as well. Under the croissants, I've got some more, don't you worry. We've got some little sausages that I would have showed you earlier. I'm not really trying to bacon, but I do want to try it, so I picked up some bacon as well. One for the scrambled eggs um, and some potatoes, so basically like a standard uh, hot breakfast, which I'm really looking forward to. It's quite a lot of food, actually. They did bring out some uh, power chocolates as well, so if you prefer power chocolates to croissants, don't worry, they do have them too. I'm more of a croissant girl myself. Let me know in the comments as well if you prefer croissants or power chocolates. But anyway, I am now going to eat this food as I enjoy this view in front of me. I mean, it, not gonna lie, it's not the most like calming environment, but of course it wouldn't be, it's a breakfast buffet. At least I've got this next to me as well. And then I'll get back to you. It is about 10 minutes past 10, by the way, if you're wondering with the time, so this breakfast should be running for another 20 minutes. 20 minutes later. I finished my first plate. I say first plate, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to eat anymore because even my first plate, I couldn't actually properly finish. I ate most of it. I had all three croissants because the croissants were really, really nice. Um, I think I might have just put too much on my plate, like there was loads of eggs, loads of potatoes, loads of carbs. Again, I finished most of my meat. The bacon was actually pretty good, the sausages were nice as well, 
this is what I've got left as you can see so yeah that is not going to be finished but I think I do want to try just the Nutella thing because it's fun just a little bit of Nutella and I also want another croissant I know I just said I've had a lot of carbs but the croissants here are very very good so if you're coming here if you're staying at the Magic Circus definitely get the croissants or the Pound Chocolats I'm sure they'd be good as well I can't help myself I've just picked up two more of those little croissants from here I thought I'd also show you the Pound Chocolats so there they are the same size more or less as the croissants the little ones but very very good looking they also do do some like cereals as well and some uh, yeah cheeses some hams the cereals are over here as well if that's more of your breakfast vibe they even have cocoa pops here maybe for kids I think they'd probably prefer these ones here but that Nutella station over there is where I'm heading at now I'm very excited I've just pumped myself some Nutella with the pump over there and honestly that was such a satisfying time I do have to say even though they have signs that say you have to wear a mask especially when you're by the buffet not everyone listens I spotted quite a lot of people just kind of you know, walking past the buffet using the buffet without having a mask on and also loads of kids like the kids are not wearing masks and I even heard kids like coughing and just kind of walking through the buffet I don't know how that makes me feel to be honest I tried the Disney buffet like at Disneyland Paris downtown restaurant the other day and I felt very safe there because over there they very they very much make sure like cast members are around to make sure everyone is wearing masks and I think people just generally feel more inclined to obey the rules at Disney anyway Magic Circus is a partner hotel but it's not Disney so I think people are a lot more chilled here and you know the people that work here also aren't like enforcing it as much unfortunately but I mean I'm not gonna not eat at this point because <laughs> I've already eaten quite a bit so I'm still gonna have the croissants and just hope for the best I also did get myself a little glass of water I might go back for an apple juice later on as well but this is my priority right now okay well it's time for me to go it's about 10 40 right now and whilst they're not like restocking the buffets there is still food available there so I saw some people still getting food so that's good it's just not going to be as fresh as if you come a bit earlier I'm just going to quickly show you this reception reception area that they've got going on right now as well because of all the wood renovations going on this area just isn't how it's meant to be it's quite busy today it's not been this busy uh, in the reception area in this hotel in the past week I've been here but I think it's a Thursday maybe a lot of people are coming to stay for the weekend perhaps but the reception is just around the corner and this is all that there is to the lobby and the lobby from there so as you can see it's not very good normally the Magic Circus Hotel is meant to be a lot bigger the reception area is meant to have like a shop as well a Disney shop I believe as well as little play areas for kids and all of those are, are no longer here at the moment when I say no longer I mean right now because of the renovations they should be coming back whenever the renovations are over as well as the swimming pool the swimming pool right now is also not here as in that they're working on it but that should also be coming back but I am now back on level three where my room is thank the lord it was very noisy downstairs but I'd show you this as well they do have vending machines basically on all the levels I've used this a lot uh, just to get myself water bottles more or less every night but yes the breakfast was good I enjoyed the breakfast uh, a lot there was loads of options as well um, I ate a lot I kind of low-key wish I had made use of it earlier because this is my last morning here and I've been here for the past week so I could have gone before but the reason I hadn't is because normally I tend to like to spend you know my food time in the parks there are so many snacks in the actual parks and the Disney parks that I want to try and stuff that I just knew that if I ate breakfast here every morning I then wouldn't have the space because obviously I've already paid for the breakfast here it's like included so it would have been free it would have been cheaper eating here but I wanted to try loads of things in the parks if that makes sense so that's why I didn't try it until today but um yeah it's very filling as well so at the moment I've still got like a half day in the park and I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat anything else today I'm just not used to eating such a heavy breakfast every day so maybe it's a good thing that I've only eaten it today and not like the whole week but anyway I've just come back to my room and I thought I'd show you the view now that it's daylight so you can see what's going on it's a little bit foggy over there but it's a nice view and that's where we had breakfast earlier over there that's the restaurant that while restaurant that's the terrace bit I think that's more or less where I was actually sat so yeah pretty nice place um, nice view as well I feel like you'd get a nice view from any of the rooms here but particularly the top floors which is obviously where I am I'm on the the highest floor here which is the third floor I requested a top floor just because I prefer high floors and thankfully I'm in the center as well the central of the hotel I feel like maybe if 
a stayed on the side one so the view would be slightly different but i mean it's just a view at the end of the day you're not going to be spending a lot of time in your room just looking out of view like this but it's nice to know that it's a nice room cool thank you for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it i'm still a bit like i think stressed by the breakfast just because it was very very busy and very loud uh, especially at the reception um and i had to wait quite a bit to even get them to come to my room because there was loads of people waiting for the lifts so sorry if i look a bit defeated i did enjoy the breakfast a lot and i really have enjoyed my room i think right now because they're doing renovations um just be careful if you're booking this hotel in the next few months uh, i'm not sure how long the renovations will take maybe you can just ask uh, magic circus yourselves just give them an email or something but i'm pretty sure it's not going to be too long what i will say though is that there's been a couple of mornings when i've woken up with the sound of like you know renovation works going on on my level uh from like eight o'clock in the morning onwards this hasn't been the case every single day some days it doesn't start until later when i'm out of the room but a couple of days especially the past couple of days they've started works from about 8 8 30 in the morning which as i said if you're planning to go to the parks early anyway that's fine but if you want like a day of a lie-in maybe you want to wake up a little bit later nine o'clock or whatever or ten it might be annoying to have that noise in the mornings and also just generally even if you're awake i feel like it's annoying to have that noise but rest assured throughout the night there's no noise whatsoever so just thought i'd point it out in case you do come here in the next few months but like i said service has been really really good i have enjoyed my stay here the room's been lovely i've enjoyed this balloon and i would stay here again i think i i'm going to wait until everything is renovated because i want to see the lobby and the reception area and the swimming pool and the shops and just everything that they have to offer downstairs when everything's back to normal but um the rooms should be the same so yeah watch out for another video at some point probably next year when i will hopefully come back and stay at the magic circus again because i've enjoyed it enough that i would be happy to stay here so that's it thank you so much for watching uh let me know in the comments down below what you thought of it what you thought of the breakfast first also if you prefer croissants or pain au chocolat and what your star sign is as well I, i'm really curious i want to know if there are any other leos out there especially leos who are born in july because i feel like they're quite rare because like yeah leos from like the 23rd i believe 23rd of july until the end of july my birthday is on the 29th if you're wondering um so yeah let me know thank you so much for watching i am really rambling now goodbye